hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today i'm so excited because we're going to be taking a look at the new monster high generation 3 laguna blue doll and this is a doll that i've been looking forward to unboxing for a very long time because they made a lot of unique changes for this new laguna so i'm really excited to get her out and see what she really looks like through the pictures i didn't really want to judge her but now that i have her for myself i really want to see her and judge her in person so let's get started so of course she comes posed in the standard monster high packaging it's the doll in the center and there she is and all her accessories come placed neatly in the side, along with a new or old face, but with a new look. And on the other side, the reflective Monster High logo, and here's the new illustration for Laguna, and I must say she's super cute, I really love her name font. And on the side of the box, there are a whole bunch of little illustrations that represent Laguna. And here is the back of the box. It's the same as all the other dolls, except now we have Laguna's illustration along with her little bio. And her new illustration is so adorable, but there is some differences with the drawing and the doll, just like all the other dolls. But now that we've taken a look at her in the box, let's take her out of the box to see what she really looks like. So here is Laguna Blue out of the box, but before we take a look at her, let's take a look at some of her accessories. So first we have her little pet piranha Neptuna, and as you can see, Neptuna looks very different from her original form. She almost doesn't even look like a fish in my opinion. She kind of looks like a little floating cat thing i don't really know what she is but as you can see she's just pink plastic and she has translucent pink fins and her tail is kind of bent upwards in a way so it kind of lets her stand on her own which is i think why they changed her design but i don't really think she looks like a fish but she is super cute her face is very adorable and she's kind of making like little kissy lips but this neptuna looks very different from the fierce one that i remember but she is very cute Next up is her little shell phone and it comes with a pink case in the shape of a clam. Very simple but very cute. She also comes with her little water bottle to stay hydrated and it's this blue color with little bumps on the side and the top is black but it has a little fish tail on it. She also comes with these little goldfish snacks and it's so adorable because if you can see on the little illustration there's the old version of Neptuna and there's the nutrition facts. I think the food items on this new generation are so adorable. She also comes with a little bag of kelp crisps. I think it's a type of chip and it's in a little green bag with a little cute illustration of fish but it really reminds me of the Kelpo cereal from Spongebob. As for accessories, she comes with some translucent light blue glasses that have fish scales on the side. As for her backpack, she has this awesome hot pink shell backpack with little drips on the bottom and the straps are blue but there's like little spiderweb detailing on it which makes it so cute. And it does have a little slit on the top and you can fit a few items in there but it's kind of not the softest plastic so it's kind of hard. But as you can see she has straps so she can also put it on and I think the backpacks in this new generation are so cool. Her last fashion accessory is this little one piece swimsuit. It's kind of this green and black metallic fish scales but it also has orange ruffles on it. And now we can finally get into the doll. Although she looks very different, I think she still is very beautiful. I really love her face. Her look might have changed a bit, but she still has those giant classic Laguna Blue eyes. One major difference that you can instantly tell is that her skin is now pink, which is a very drastic change, but I'm starting to like it. I think she looks very pretty. And her eyes are now brown instead of green, but they're still super huge and super cute. And this new Laguna has minimal makeup. She has it in a V-shape on the outer corner of her eye, and it's kind of like a gradient of blue. But as you can see, she still has her freckles, but they're just blue now but they kind of go like around the sides of her eyes so it kind of looks like graphic eyeliner and her lips are this pinky salmony color and they're really bright and they really pop out on her face she also now has these like thick aqua colored eyebrows and i think they're really cute and i think they really suit the face i think laguna has the most adorable face out of all these new dolls but another change that this doll has is as you can see she kind of has scales on her forehead now they're like a light blue and a green on the outer edge i'm not too sure how i feel about them yet because it kind of makes it look like she has a weird hairline but i don't mind them all too much if you kind of ignore them they kind of disappear but they are pretty cute i think it's an interesting idea and another change is her hair it's kind of similar but kind of different as you can see it's pulled off into two pigtails on the side one side is kind of like a teal aqua color and the other side is a lilac purple and i say it's the same because it's basically the same colors as og laguna she just has purple in her hair now and it's just a much brighter as you can see the yellow the blonde on her hair is way more pigmented it's kind of more just a straight up yellow this time where the original laguna kind of had like a muted yellow but it's super long in a ponytail curly too that goes all the way down to her knees and here's a better look at the blue and purple in her hair it's just on the bottom as for her accessories she comes with these two little clips on her hair that are meant to look like little rows of pearls and they're just white and around her ponytail she has this black sea urchin headband as you can tell, this new Laguna is super colorful. As for earrings, she comes with a light blue fishbone earring, and as you can see, her ears are kind of a different shape too. And on the other side, she just has the same color blue, but it's a pearl this time. And around her neck is this little white puka shell necklace. 
and now to move on to her outfit it's very colorful just like the rest of her but she still has that classic laguna sporty look for her top she has a cropped hot pink hoodie and it has a little black seahorse decal on it and her sleeves are a slightly different shade of pink but they're a fishnet material so you can kind of see her arms through them and they also have a black trim going all down the sides and she kept her classic Laguna hood. It's basically the same hood, it's just a brighter color of blue and her little fins are now this tie-dye rainbow. And here's a shot so you could get a closer look at her new fins. They're actually sculpted onto her arm now along with scales and her hands are actually normal. She doesn't have her webbing in between them which kind of makes me sad but it's still okay. Around her waist she has a light blue fanny pack with some little shark teeth detail on it and the strap around it has fish scale detailing along with a little bite taken out of it. As for her bottom, she has this little tie-dye shorts, they're rainbow just like her little ears and she has blue ruffles going along the side so they kind of look like fish fins or something but I think they're very pretty and I really like them. And now for a standout feature is her legs. As you can see, it gradients from pink into a translucent blue and it's so cool. I thought this was a very weird but interesting take for Laguna but as you can see the pink can chip because mine was chipped from being in the box. And here you can get a better look at her leg fins. They're a translucent blue but they're pointing down this time and they are very much secured so they're way harder to remove than the original Laguna so they won't fall out on you. And lastly here are her shoes. They're kind of like a sporty sneaker sandal hybrid and it's hot pink on the top with two straps and it says monster along the top as well as a little fish fin and the bottom is just like a platform blue. And they are pretty cute but I think I personally would like them if they didn't say monster on the front. I think it kind of ruins it. It's like if a human would walk around with shoes that said human. But that's pretty much it for this Laguna and overall I don't really know what to think of her yet. I go back and forth between really liking her and not really liking her that much. She's the least recognizable from her original counterpart but she is pretty. I just don't really know if I like her vibe yet. When I did a video years ago on my YouTube channel where I redesigned the original ghouls, a lot of people said that my version of Laguna looked like one of those girls that carries around a hydro flask and says kss 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 and save the sea turtles and stuff like that but I thought it was funny but this Laguna literally looks like that like she is one of those girls and I don't particularly like that style. I like some of her pieces individually but together I just think I don't really like the look but I do like how colorful she is and when she's on the shelf pose I always catch myself looking at her out of all the ghouls. I think she's the most visually interesting. So yeah I'm not really sure how to feel about this new Laguna yet. I'm still deciding my opinion on her but her face is super pretty. I will give her that but I'm just super excited to see where they take her character. It seems like they're really gonna change her. Like they gave her translucent legs when that was supposed to be Spectra's standout feature but now that we're getting a Spectre doll too, I'm assuming, I don't really know if they're gonna do the same thing twice. So overall, it's just a bag of mixed emotions for me, but I think this doll is very pretty and I did buy it and I do kind of like her, so I'll say it's a good doll. But that's pretty much it for today, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!